Hey, this is Jeremiah from Waves. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial and show you a really cool feature in LV1 where we can use the Wave Sound Grid driver to stream multiple channels of discrete audio from a DAW like Ableton uh, directly into our mixer. So it's pretty commonplace nowadays to have a playback rig as part of your live production, whether that's being operated by a playback technician or one of your musicians on stage. Typically what you have is a DAW like Ableton is probably the most commonly used one nowadays. So I'm going to use that for this example. So Ableton's being used to fire click tracks, loops, uh, maybe some backing guitar and vocal tracks. Uh, and that would typically be connected to uh, an audio interface doing D to A. So you have multiple analog line outputs coming out, going into DI boxes to a sub snake, to your stage rack, and then finally patched to your console. So it's a really cumbersome setup and kind of limiting just based on how many analog outputs you can get from your interface. And on the other hand, maybe you're mix submixing things in Ableton to reduce the amount of channel outputs. Uh, and so that limits things at front of house. You know, everything's already summed together. You can't mix things discreetly um, to really tune them to your other live inputs. So I'm gonna show you how to do this with the Sound Grid driver, which is a free virtual sound card uh, that's compatible with any DAW that supports core audio or ASIO drivers. Uh, and this allows us to patch up to 128 channels of discrete audio directly from our DAW onto the SoundGrid network. Uh, so I'm going to show you this using LV1. So let's jump to an LV1 console. I've got one sitting here behind me. Uh, and right now we are looking at our SoundGrid inventory page. So this is where we set up and configure devices onto the system. So I've got two device racks, rack A there in blue and then rack B in green. And in rack A, I've got two hardware devices. I've got an iOS, which is an eight channel interface from DigiGrid. And then in uh, number two, I've got a 24 channel stage rack from Sound Studio. Uh, and then in rack B, this is what we're gonna be looking at. I've got uh, my SoundGrid driver that I've already named Ableton. And this is running on a second computer that I have connected uh, to the SoundGrid network with a single ethernet cable. And this is where I'm running my Ableton session. And so I can set this driver to be anywhere from 32 to 128 channels. Currently I'm set for 32 channels. So now we need to go into Ableton and set it up to work with the SoundGrid driver. So let's jump to Ableton and go to our preferences. And looking at our audio preferences, we're set for a core audio driver. And I'm gonna select the audio output device and choose Wave SoundGrid. And you can see it's already given me uh, the information that I have 32 ins and 32 outs available. So I'm gonna choose that. And then I wanna to go to my output configuration and this is where I can activate the outputs that I want to use in this particular session in Ableton. And in this session, uh, this is a session from Elevation Church in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, we've got some click tracks, loops, some backing vocal tracks and synth loops and stuff like that. Uh, I think we've got two mono tracks and then four stereo tracks. So I'm just going to turn on all of these through channel 10 here. And that should give me all the outputs I need. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I can close out of my preferences. And then let's look at our session real quick. So I've got a click track here. I've got that assi assigned to output number one. Then I've got a cue channel. This is gonna be like my count ins and any cues for the band. Uh, that's assigned to output number two. Then I've got a stereo drum loop. I've got that assigned to outputs three and four. And then jumping down a little bit, I've got a stereo track here called hook. And I've got that assigned to outputs five and six. And then I've got a stereo loop that I've assigned to output seven and eight. And then I've got a stereo vocal loop here that I've assigned to outputs nine and 10. So those are gonna be my discrete channels of audio that I'm sending to the mixer. So let's jump back to LV1 and go to our patch window. This is where I can see all of the inputs and outputs for each device that I've connected to the network uh, and where I can route those to my channel inputs. So on the left there, I have my channel inputs and you can see I've already named some channels. I've got click, cues, drum loop, uh, hook loop, synth loop, and vocal loop. So I'm gonna patch those to come from Ableton. You can see I've got 32 channels there to patch from. Uh, I'm just gonna do one-to-one -one through channel 10. And now I'm gonna go to my mixer uh, and I'm gonna hit play on Ableton. We should see some inputs coming in now. So let's bring these up and see what we got. Should have click track here on channel one. We should have our drum loop here. Then our hook. Our synth loop. And then our vocal loop here. 
And then on channel two, we should have our count ins. Four, one, two. So I've got all those channels coming in discreetly to my LV1 mixer. I can treat them all individually. I don't have to rely on how it's being processed in Ableton. Uh, so that's a really cool way to do it. Everything stays digital all the way through. I can stream up to 128 individual tracks directly from my DAW onto the mixer. Um, if you have any more questions uh, about LV1 or SoundGrid, please check out our website, waves.com. We have a complete series of tutorial videos on LV1 there. Uh, stay tuned to this channel for more tips and tricks from Waves, and thanks for watching.